Hey everyone, welcome back to another keto mukbang and a movie. Show you guys before I start my mukbang how I change my living room around. It's been six years the same. If you remember, I had my couch right there in front of that window, and it was always so cold. So now I've got that chair there where Minnie sits. There's her cage when she's naughty. No, I'm just kidding. It's her cage. She goes in just you know periodically. We have the TV right here on the wall where my curio cabinet was, and then I just wanted to show you guys this picture. Me and my husband took this years ago when we went to Wisconsin Dales. We did a Titanic reenactment. That's when I was a lot heavier, but I would love to go back and redo one now that I lost the weight. But I love, love this photo. I love it so much. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that has nothing to do with the living room. But anyway, so I got the pictures up like that, and I have the couch now where the fireplace used to be. There's Minnie. Minnie. Hi, boo -boos. And so I have that below the mirror now. And over here is where all our movies are, where the TV used to be, and the fireplace is right there, and it just goes down like that. So, but I love it. It's more spacious in here, and that goes into my room where I do my nails at. But yeah, I love it like this. I think it's more spacious, and I just loved it. We washed the walls, cleaned the baseboards, did everything. I know that over there doesn't look too great, my air conditioner, but we have to tape around it so it doesn't let the air in. During the summer, we need the air, and I can't get the cover on it. We have the air conditioner out too far. So, But anyways, there is my living room. Just wanted to show you guys that. I love the way it turned out. Say bye, Minnie. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. So good to see all of you. I am back doing another keto mukbang, and this is what I'm having. It is six carbs total. It is a ham steak, and then it is... Broccoli cooked in two ounces of cream cheese. My total carb count here is six. Two for the broccoli, two for the two ounces of cream cheese, and two for the three ounces of ham steak. And I'll show you which one it is. I get it from Aldi's. It's this one right here. And for three ounces, it's only two carbs. It's one of the lowest ones I've found for a ham. So if you're interested in get purchasing that, definitely get it. It is delicious. It comes a nice big piece. You can have it for breakfast, for dinner. You can cook it, chop it up, put it in eggs, make an omelet, make a quiche, have it just for ham for dinner. But ham isn't real high in carb, but it is a lot higher than this one here. So I'm shocked, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I am having Diet 7-Up that I am going to add my cherry uh, liquid. Um, it's just a water enhancer or flavor enhancer. So I'm just gonna squirt a couple of squirts in here and we're gonna have Cherry Diet 7-Up. I love it that way, love it, so good. You can also just put that right into water too, so. Mmm, love it, so good. But that's the one I get, there's all different brands, but these are zero carb, zero sugar. So that's the one I get. And the movie. Sorry that I don't look so presentable tonight. I need my glasses on when I watch TV. Um, right before this video, you're going to see a little tour of my living room. My husband and I changed it around. It hadn't been changed around in six years. I'm finally away from my window because it's so cold up next to that window. So I got away from that. If you, you kind of see right now, I'm on this wall here where that mirror is. That used to be where the fireplace is. But you'll see in the beginning, I did a little tour of the living room to show you guys. And I love it. We washed walls we cleaned baseboards changed everything around i love it i love when you go through a room like that and get it nice and clean after so many years i love it but anyways now this is the movie i'm gonna watch i don't know if you guys have ever seen it whoever hasn't rent it or i always say rent it 
Get it, buy it. It's not that expensive. You can find it online or at Walmart. It is an older movie with Christopher Reeves and Jane Seymour, a awesome movie called Somewhere in Time. My husband is actually the one that introduced me to this movie. It is a love story. It is travel back in time. That's why it's called Somewhere in Time. He travels back in time. And the love between these two in just a matter of days is awesome. And when my husband introduced me to, to this movie, it is actually filmed at the Grand Hotel and Mackinac Island. So my husband always said one day he is going to take me there and we're going to stay at the Grand Hotel and we're going to do all the stuff that they did because they actually were at the Grand Hotel. So I'm going to show you bits and pieces of the movie, but um, we're going to do everything, recreate what they did. And it's kind of neat. Every year after they did this movie, they returned back to Mackinac Island to the Grand Hotel and just did like a you know review over the movie. Movie and talked about it and they did it every year even after his accident he had when he was in the wheelchair all the way up till after he died they still do a reunion and still talk about this movie and the Grand Hotel is supposed to be amazing so I can't wait one day for me and my husband to be able to get to go but yeah this is what I chose tonight normally I would wait for my husband to watch this movie because he is you know this is our movie this is our thing or whatever that he introduced me to so I normally would wait for him to watch it but He's busy working right now, and I want to watch it, and I want to share this one with you guys because I could watch it anytime. I could watch it tonight and watch it again tomorrow. <laughs> so, but anyways, so how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everyone is eating low-carb foods. I hope uh, the ones that are doing keto that are following in my footsteps, I praise you and condemn you. I'm proud of all of you. I commend you, I mean, <laughs> condemn you. Oh, my goodness. Um, but anyways, I know my friend Monica does the keto. She is six months in and she has lost a tremendous amount of weight. I can't remember exactly what she's at, but I think it is over 60 pounds. So she started at 295 and I think she's down to 223. So that was her last weigh in and I'm just blown away, Monica. You are awesome. And her husband is also following and doing it too. And he's lost a lot too. He was 220 when he started I think and he's like 167 I believe I hope I'm saying these numbers right Monica I'm sorry but if you'd like to know about their channel it is um team Dave and Mon I will link that down in my box again for you guys to go check out for my new subscribers and follow their journey she does her journey all the time and shares with you guys meals and all kinds of stuff you'll love her channel she does all kinds of stuff but you have to see this transformation she's made already in just six months so and she doesn't cheat. She's like me. She has not had a cheat day yet in um, the six months she's been doing it. I did not have my first cheat day till I was 13 months in and down over 100 pounds. So she's kind of following the same footsteps. She's not going to have her first cheat till after she's lost over 100 and she's over a year in too. So, but anyways, let's get started eating because I'm hungry <laughs> and we'll get this movie going. There's going to be a part right in the beginning of this movie that I want to share with you guys. So I'm just going to do a quick pause, show it to you, and then I will come back. And then after that, we can wait a little bit before I start sharing a little bit more. But it's kind of an important part in the movie. So here's my broccoli made with cream cheese. Mm. I Tonight, what I did was, is I just made the broccoli that you make in the microwave, the steamables. And after it was done, then I pulled out my portion of broccoli, put it in a little bowl, two ounces of cream cheese, put it back in, cooked it again for about another two minutes to melt the cheese, mixed it all up, salt and pepper. Yeah, yum. I loved it when it was on that spinach, so I thought, I'm going to try it on broccoli. I mean, people put cheese on broccoli, and I thought, hey, why not cream cheese? Mmm. Monica, if you haven't had it, try it. So let's try this. I've already had this ham steak, but... I cooked it really good tonight. Got it nice golden brown. It's not burnt. It looks like it is, but it's not. I like I like crispy edges on, on my ham. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Better be good because it's a ham steak. It is definitely a picnic ham. It's very good. And it's not even expensive. It was only four se four four thirteen for that one. And it is how many pounds? It is. I can't see it on here, the weight of it, but it's a nice big piece. Like I said, usually I make it for me and my husband, and so there'll be a piece for him when he gets home from work, and then I save a little bit for the next day. There's leftover the next day, and I usually make it into like an omelet, so there's plenty to go around. Mmm, 
Sogan. I love when you take a diet pop and add in that stuff and make it diet cherry. I like diet cherry Coke, um, diet cherry Pepsi. I love it. It is so good with that, that water enhancer in there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, and also Minnie really likes when I buy these because it comes with a bone in the middle and she gets that bone. So <laughs> she loves when I buy this ham. I always make sure I leave a little bit of, there's meat in the middle of the bone, but also I leave a little bit around the edges for her too. So a nice little treat for her because the bone isn't that big. It's only about that big. So. I love Christopher Reeves, especially in Superman. But I've seen a movie called, I hope I'm saying this right, Above Suspicion, I believe it's called, that he did. And he was in a wheelchair in that one. And it was kind of sad because right after that movie is when he had his accident and ended up in a wheelchair. But if you've never seen it, like I said, I think it's called Above Suspicion. I will link it down in my box. If that is what the name or isn't the name, I'm going to link it down in my box so I know for sure I'm saying it right. You guys got to see that movie if you haven't. It is so good with Christopher Reeves. Amazing movie. And it's a thriller, a suspense, and you'll never figure out what happens. Like, when you watch it, you're shocked at what happens at the end. It's just amazing. I love, I love him. But just sad that right after the movie... He had that accident just shortly after it. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick here, and I'm going to show you this very first part that's very important. Well, let me stop. Okay, I'm back, and that starts off the movie right there. Just unbelievable. This movie is just so good, and I, it's so sad, that part that she says right there, and you're going to understand as the movie goes along. Well, I'm not going to show you too much because I don't like to spoil anything for movies, but definitely get this movie and watch it. It's so good. So I'm going to periodically show you a few parts. I don't like to keep it too long. I like to keep it short, and you can't really show a lot of stuff, but, you know, because they don't like you to show too much and keep it under 30 seconds and all that so I will show you different parts of the movie though throughout the movie after I eat but that part I had to show you that part is what starts the whole thing and for those of you that have seen it know what I'm talking about sorry don't make me a gross I hate I hate fat on anything. Some people like to eat the fat off of like steak and stuff like that. Mm -mm. I cannot, I can't tolerate it. I hate the texture of it. Like it just freaks me out. But look at that ham steak. So yummy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I am loving these nails that I did, these butterfly ones. I am loving them. I'm having so much fun. You guys already seen them. And you see my outfit I put with it. But oh, I love this set. I love it so much. I needed a nice spring look because you know, we've had a pretty long winter and we still got about three probably about four weeks left of winter. Maybe even a little longer. But we've had some really nice days. Again, you guys always get this video a week later. So I'm actually filming right now. It is March 2nd. You guys won't get this until um, the 9th of March. You guys won't get this till the 9th of March. So <laughs> that kind of gives you an idea. I don't normally... No. Yeah, today's Friday. Yep, March 9th. So today's March 2nd where I'm filming. And you will get it on March 9th. Mmm, this dinner is so bad. I was actually going to take this 
uh, ham. I was going to make a quiche tonight. Sorry, I have this in your way. I was going to make a, a quiche tonight with that. And add in egg, the ham, some cheese. Um, I was going to throw some spinach in there. And a couple of things like that. No, I don't want to go through all that work. Not tonight. I'm just going to... After I heated this up, I was just so hungry. I didn't want to wait and get the quiche going in the oven. So, But maybe I'll make leftovers tonight. Make a, a quiche tonight for it to be ready tomorrow. Then all I have to do is heat it. Who thinks Christopher Reeves is good looking? I do. Back in his time. Of course, after he ended up in the wheelchair and stuff like that, it was sad what happened to him. But... Like in his Superman days and like this this time or whatever. He's pretty good looking. And I like how tall he is. So tall and I love tall guys. My husband is 6'1". I have to be with a guy at least 6 foot or taller. I have to be. And I think Christopher Reeves is like, I want to say he was like 6'5". He was a tall man. My son is 6'3". He's so tall. But I'm just a shorty. I'm only five foot two. But I still love being with a man that is tall. I love that because I love my high heels. I mean, even with my tallest heels I wear, I'm still shorter than my husband. <laughs> I remember when I was heavier, he used to call me a Care Bear. Because he used to say, you know, because I carried most of my weight in my tummy. And that's what I love about him. Is he always found the beauty in me. And... He would call me a Care Bear. He's like, oh, you have a Care Bear tummy. And he goes, I'm going to call you Care Bear all the time. Well, since I lost the weight, my husband now calls me, um, still calls me Care Bear. But he's like, now you're just baby Care Bear. Because he goes, you don't even have any tummy left. But you're still a Care Bear because you're still cute. So my husband is so sweet. I love when he calls me those names and when he says that stuff to me. And just makes me feel good. But you know what? He married me at my heaviest. I was almost 300 pounds when I got married to him. And he loved me you know, thin or thick or heavy. It didn't matter. He loved my heart and that's what he loved about me. So I know when I lost all this weight, it was for me. It wasn't for anybody. It was for me to be healthy, to live a long life because my husband accepted me the way I was. I could have been a thousand pounds and he would have accepted me the way I was. I did this diet for me. I know some people out there will say, you know, people losing weight or whatever, they're doing it for their family. I did it for my family to live longer, not to look better because my son, my family, my husband all loved me just the way I was. But you know what? I didn't love me and that's the most important. I didn't love myself and I needed to be healthy and thin. I do have a heart condition and it doesn't matter. Even if you don't have any conditions, you got to eat good because you know what? We are given one body. God gives us one body and to do with what we do. And so many people in my family or friends or whatever are passing away at such a young age because of the way they eat, the way their health is. I mean, diabetes and, and high blood pressure and high triglycerides and just you name it. I mean, it's causing heart attacks. It's causing bad things, blood clots, all of that. So I did this for me to be healthier, to be here longer for my family. But, you know, my husband loves me the way I am. He loved me when I was heavy. He loves me like this. And he always says, he goes, you went from cute to super hot and sexy. But he goes, you know what? If you went back to the way you were, I wouldn't love you any different. He just said, like, you just went from, he just, you know, kept saying, he goes, it's just, you're always going to be cute and adorable. But he goes, it's just like, you just got hotter. And he's like, but... That being said, he goes, but I still look back at your pictures and I just think you were so cute when you were fat. That's how he says it. It's funny. It's funny when he says it. He's like, you were just so cute. I'll show him pictures of me when I was heavier. And I'm like, oh, and he's like, no, is that you? Look at how cute you were. So <laughs> my husband's so good to me. My husband's always been thin, too. He's never been a heavy guy. He's. I've never seen my husband, um, like I said, he's 6'1". And I've never seen him over like 2'10". He usually runs about 190 to 200 is usually what he runs. But at six foot, you know, one, that's not a real bad weight. So yummy. Mm. So Last bite. Gum. Yeah. So delicious. <laughs> nice different meal. I've been trying to throw some different meals at you guys to show you different keto meals. And 
And I'm also trying to throw at you like easy meals to make too, not just hard meals, but easy meals too, because I want things to be easy for you sometimes. I mean, people work, they come home, they want to throw something together. I mean, you couldn't throw this together faster. This was already cooked. This ham is pre-cooked. All I had to do was heat it in a pan really quick. I just put it in a, a fry pan, heated it up really quick, and then I just cooked that broccoli in the microwave. So you couldn't be any quicker or faster with dinner than that. And like I said, this was a six-carb dinner, so that's awesome. And I do make, you know, I've on my channel, I've done harder things, you know, things that are a little bit more complicated. But I pretty much kept my whole journey simple. Every once in a while, I made an amazing uh, meal. But other than that, I, you know, went through and I would do a, a little bit of a harder recipe or whatever. But I didn't do too many of those. I wanted to keep it simple and easy for me. So this diet or way of life, it's not a diet, way of life, would be easy on me and wouldn't be so complicated. And you know what? I love all the stuff I eat. So, but anyways, there's parts of this movie that are coming up that I want to share with you guys. So let's get going on okay, that. Okay, now we're at a part of the movie that it's been eight years since that happened, since that woman brought him that uh, locket and said, come back to me. It's been eight years and Christopher Reeves now is... Um, at the Grand Hotel, he took some time off. He just needed some space and some time off, so he drove to the Grand Hotel, and he's in the Grand Hotel right now, and he's just kind of walking around looking at things, and he sees a Hall of Fame, and he goes in this room, and he is so drawn all of a sudden to this photo on the wall, and it's actually her when she was younger, and he doesn't even know it, but he's just drawn to her. And I'm just going to show you this part, but if you see the movie, you'll see after that, he just keeps going back to this. He can't sleep. He can't eat correctly. He can't do anything. He's just so drawn to this photo, and he doesn't even know why. So let me show you this part right here. He just happened to turn and saw this photo and just was just glued to it and so happy. And he doesn't know why, but he's just so drawn to it. But you know, you guys figure out as the movie goes along as you watch it, but he is very much drawn to this woman. And he has no idea it was that old woman that gave him the locket. She's so pretty. So this next part here is where he's just having a hard time sleeping. He's so drawn to this photo. He just, He's so intrigued by this woman, and it made me think of when me and my husband first met. We met on a dating site, and he said he was so drawn to my photo. He kept going back to it, and finally he got a hold of me, and he was very persistent. He wanted to meet me right away. He was just so drawn, and he said it was that photo, like, you were just so beautiful. So it makes me think of that when I watch this movie. We talk about that every time that part comes up. He said, I remember when I saw your photo, I was so drawn to you. But anyways, I'll show you this, how he just can't sleep or nothing. He's just so drawn to this photo. He's definitely fallen in love with this woman. He wants to figure out why. She's a beautiful woman. Now this next part you're going to see, he's in the library and he's looking up things on her. And he happens to come across a photo of her when she was older. And he then figures out that this woman came to him and said, come back to me. It's that woman on the wall, but now he sees her older. I'm going to show you that part really quick. It's kind of romantic and sweet. Just like when me and my husband first met. Love at first sight. Watch, he's going to open this book and he sees her as that old woman that brought him that locket and said, come back to me. Now he's like, whoa, what is going on? It gets better, people. It gets better. This is the most beautiful love story ever. So this next part I'm going to show you is I skipped over a whole bunch because I want to make this video not too long. But um, he has figured out how to time travel. He went back all the way to the 19, early 1900s, and he sees her for the first time. And I'm going to show you this. And it's kind of cute. She doesn't know who he is, but she's, like, acting. And you'll hear her in there say, is it you? But she still doesn't know, and he's thinking... He looks at her and he says, yes, it is. But he he thinks she knows who he is, but she doesn't. She's just acting. It's kind of cute. But I'm going to show you that part. This is where he sees her for the first time. And now he's back in time. You see, he's dressed for the part and everything because he's supposed to be back in the early 1900s.
He is so excited that he was able to travel back and see her. You guys got to see this movie. It is so romantic. I had to break this up. And remember now, she's just... She's thinking he's his her long-lost love is what she's thinking. She's not knowing he traveled back in time for her. Okay, again, it's quite a bit into the movie. Uh, I just don't want to show too much, but this is where after so many times of talking to her and stuff like that to try to get her to do something with him, he tried like all day long. I think they only were together like two days, but they had a strong love for each other. But he finally gets her to go out, and I'm going to show you a few parts here of a lot of the things that me and my husband are planning to do when we go here. So I'm going to show you that. Now I'm going to break this up. So first they go on a horse and buggy ride. That's just her manager. She's an actress. But we're gonna walk through all these parts by the Grand Hotel. And like I said, these two were only together, I think, two days total and they were madly in love. And I know when I first met my husband and he met me, it was love at first sight. We both kind of want to get some old-fashioned clothing like that, too, so we can do some video. If I ever go there, I will definitely do a lot of video for you guys for my channel. But we want to dress like kind of old-time, you know, old-time clothing like they wore. Now they're going to go on a beautiful boat ride together. First they sit here and they talk a little bit. I'm just showing you a few of the things that they did that we're definitely going to do. They have this small little town there that we can do things. You can't even drive there. You have to do horse and buggy or you have to walk. It's kind of neat. You have to take a ferry to the Grand Hotel and then you have to walk or horse and buggy. She had a great day with him. Okay, now we're farther into the movie again and she was doing a play and... Her manager had asked him to come out and talk to him and what he did is had somebody kind of knock him out and stick him in a barn to try to get away from her and so now he comes back the manager lied to her and said that he left he's not coming back she took off and so he you know wakes up in this barn or whatever after being you know knocked out or whatever and wakes up and he comes back trying to find her in the hotel and they're saying that she had already checked out so it's kind of sad he thinks that he missed out and she's thinking that he didn't want nothing to do with her and he's thinking that she didn't want nothing to do with him. She wanted him out of there. So I'll show you this part now. He's so sad. Now this next part I'm going to show you is she actually is still looking for him. He's really sad. She's really sad. She's thinking he left. He's thinking she left. And all of a sudden she sees him and he yells his name. It's amazing. And that's when it, you can definitely tell these two love each other unconditionally in such a short time. Right there she comes around the corner and she sees him and he yells his name. It's so romantic. 
She's sad, he's sad. I'll break this one up. And then they are inseparable for the next day, I think. They go back to her place, they make love. It's just amazing. Now we're nearing the end here and this was after they had made love and this is the next morning. They never got any sleep or anything and it's kind of cute. They're sitting on this mat just having something to eat and she says, you know, you will marry me, right? And he kind of laughs. I mean, because they'd only known each other a short time, but he loves her. She loves him. And then the sad part comes. So let me show you that. I'm going to break this one up. he is. That's how my husband looks at me. I've got photos of it and how I look at him. This was definitely meant for us, this movie. Because we fell in love so fast. You see, she's got the watch right there. That's how she had the watch. Because a sad thing happens here. But she has his watch. So you're going to see right here the sad part that happens is you can't have anything with you from the, you know, the future. You can't have that because it'll ruin it and take you away from where you are, you know, and I mean, he's in, he's, you know, went, traveled back in time. You can't have anything with you and you'll see throughout the movie, you can't have anything with you and he ends up reaching in his pocket, um, just talking about the suit and stuff he's wearing, but all of a sudden he pulls out and there's a coin in his hand that says 1979, I believe. And all of a sudden he leaves right there. And that's why she still had his watch because he leaves then and he can't travel back to her after one time. You can only time travel one time and that's what's really sad. Watch this part. First class condition, the sleeves fit. It's pretty good for me. My arm's about nine feet long. And now he's going to go away. He can't stay if you have anything with you. Now, no matter how hard he tries, he cannot travel back. And it's so sad. I'm going to show you some parts. And there is truly something that is real. When people say people can die of a broken heart, it is real. And watch this right here. He's trying so hard to get back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I remember he's in the same Grand Hotel, just, you know, 1979 versus, I think it was 1912, I think, or 1909 or something. I can't remember the date. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> He loved her so much. That's where he drops that coin there because that's what ruined it. Had he not had that with him. He goes all over the places they were. And you could just tell he's falling apart because he can't get back to her. That's it. That's why in the beginning you see she comes to him as an old woman and says, come back to me because their love was so strong. There's him looking at the photo again. So sad. Look at 
how sad and sick he's getting. And he's sitting in the same chair she was sitting in years later when she had passed away. She was sitting looking out that same window. That's kind of weird how all of that happened because he's in the same room that he had met her. And he's just falling apart. He hasn't eaten. He hasn't slept. He hasn't drank anything. You can see he's dying. They're on their way. How is he? We're going to need some oxygen. We've got some downstairs. I'll get it right now. He's smiling because he sees her. He's starting to fade away. And he sees her in heaven. I'm going to show you now where he meets her in heaven. Now he sees her in heaven and gets to be with her again. Oh, this is such a beautiful movie. So glad my husband introduced me to it and it's our movie. Definitely our movie. Because if I lost him or he lost me, we definitely would not be the same. I would fall apart. So that is the end. I would have showed you guys a lot more, but like I said, I'm trying to keep my mukbangs short and not show you too much, but give you a little bit that intrigues you and makes you want to go out and get the movie because you will really love it. If you love a good love story, this is definitely a wonderful love story. Also, one of my favorites is Bridges of Madison County. That was a wonderful love story too. Sad in that one too. But anyways, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang and movie, and I hope you will definitely go get this movie, or if you have it or heard of it or somebody you know has it, get it from them and watch it. Watch it with your... If you're not with somebody, just watch it. Maybe one day you'll find that that love. Or if you are very much in love with your husband or mate or whoever it is, definitely watch this movie together. You guys will love it. So, But anyways, take care, everybody. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. Take care. God bless.